Hello everyone, it's motor test of the week time. Um, sorry I've been away for quite a while. I've had the uh, bad case of flu, so I um, haven't been uh, feeling that great and uh, I just couldn't be bothered to be honest. But um, yeah, had a pretty rough time with flu and I just uh, didn't want to be uh, coughing while uh, making all my videos. So um, yeah, I've been away for a little while, but. I'm back and I'm uh, going to do a video here. Um, today I'm going to be testing a multi star Viking. It's the 1808 and it's 2600 kV. Uh, picked one of these up quite a while ago. I think it was about the same sort of price and it's because they're on offer again at the moment. Uh, Hobby King have got a sale on. Some pretty good bargains. Uh, did a little order last night actually and uh, picked up some stuff but I actually got a radio controlled car so uh, that's something else to play with when it's too windy to fly um, right so let's have a look down at the specs um, right, let's have a look at the pictures got your normal screws and the uh, yeah, Loctite there uh, or lock nut rather um, yeah, pretty good motors no, it's not there. Uh, no, it's not letting me go. <laughs> right, let's have a look at the specs. Um, for quite a small motor, uh, it's like 1808. It's still 25.3 grams in weight, so it's about the weight of the lightest 2205s that you would get. Um, but it's still pretty light. Nice little small motor. Um, max, max power that you got out of it, it can take 4S battery and this is a max of 485 watts uh, why it says max current I do not know because current is amps power is watts not current <laughs> uh, who writes these things yeah, uh, so you got a max amps of 29 amps so it's pretty powerful even for such a small motor yeah, 485 watts, blimey. That's pretty damn good. Uh, it's got... I forgot what the bolt hole pattern is. What's the bolt hole pattern? Does it say what the... Yeah, 16 by 16. So, it's not your normal 16 by 19 that you would get on a 2205. But, 16 by 16, so that's not too bad. You could uh, modify something to fit that. Um, they're so small, probably not as talky as a 2205. So, if you're using a, a normal X mount, you could probably get away with just using two screws, that'd be okay. So, uh, yeah, I've got this on the thrust stand. Let's uh, give it a go and see what sort of power this little thing can generate. Okay, here we are, all ready to go. Uh, first prop I'm going to try is a Dow prop and it's a 5045 ball nose prop uh, two blade the battery I'm using is a multi star 2200 milliamp 40c 3 cell and ESC I've just used what was already on there is my AE 65 amp Turnergy ESC um, but I have changed some settings on there. Um, thanks to E3 Scott on YouTube, nice one. Uh, he's done lots of testing with the AE ESCs, and he's found that these uh, quad motors like different settings uh, to what the default settings are. So he's done a lot of work on that. So good job on that. And so I've put what he found. Is a good setting for this sort of KV uh, motor. So it's uh, basically all I've done is change the timing to 22.5 degrees, and I've changed the kilohertz on the PWM frequency to 24 kilohertz. He said that was about the best sort of performing setup for this sort of KV motor. So cheers to Scott. Thanks a lot, and I'll, I'll leave a little link to his channel. He does park jets, and they're 
really really good <laughs> so um, let's see what we get here on free sale Grams of thrust there, that's pretty good. I mean, it's only 21 amps, 253 watts. I mean, might even be able to turn a six inch prop on that. So let's uh, stick one on and see what we get. Right, and the next prop we're going to try is a gem fan 6045 and it's the cheap plastic uh, props found them to be pretty good it's on three cell Let's see what we get here reading of the windings Ooh, already up to 41.6 degrees there mm. right uh, I'll try a different six inch prop see if it's a bit better on the uh, economy as we should say Right, uh, these are normally a little bit more efficient. Um, this is a APC 6x4 gas prop, so it's not the normal electric ones, it's the ones for petrol engines, so, or IC as they're sometimes known as. So if you can't find it as gas prop on the internet, it might be under IC. So still on 3 cell. fan thrust wise but it's an amp less amp less on the current draw hmm. it's 46 a second then so hmm I mean, obviously, there's no cool air cooling this down because um, the motor's pushing the air away from the uh, motor. But so I don't know. You might be able to run a six-inch prop. Uh, I've got one more six-inch prop to try. Let's give one, that one a go. Okay, this is a Dell prop 6040 prop, and it's a uh, normal one. I don't think it's a bull nose. Just a normal 60-40 on three cell. Let's see what this does. Hmm. I seem to drop off that quite easily, or quite quickly rather. He's drawing less amps there. 28 amps. A bit safer. Hmm. 43.2 degrees. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll give one more 16th proper try. Okay, this is another gem fan 6045. But it's the carbon reinforced nylon props. These are incredibly stiff. And uh, I don't know if the stiffness makes it a bit more 
efficient or not, but let's have a look. Uh, it's on 3 cell again, 3S. Let's have a look. It's about the same really, isn't it? A lot of difference. Just uh, these are a lot stiffer, and you probably put a hell of a lot more power for them. Forty-seven point four degrees. Yeah, I'd say you can run a six-inch prop on three cell with that motor. That's pretty good. See what else we got to try. Okay, this is a Hobby King 5x4 three bladed prop. And I'm still on three cell. we got and this is a Dow prop cyclone 5045 three bladed prop and still on 3s prop pretty good okay this is a Dow prop ball nose 50 45 three bladed prop and it's on 3s Let's see what this one does Five three bladed on three cell, no problem. All right, let's see what we do on four cell. Okay, right, starting off this uh, testing on four S uh, with quite a small prop. Let's start off with a diatone uh, no, forty forty five bull nose prop and probably a bit big, you'd probably be using a smaller battery than that on this sort of motor but it is a Hyperion 2200mAh 35C 4 cell still got the same ESC settings so first time I've tried this on 4 cell so let's see what we get here Six amps. Four hundred watts. Forty degrees. Okay, let's try the next prop. Yeah, this is a Dow prop. <coughs> Excuse me. This is a Dow prop 4045 bull nose three bladed prop. Still on four cell. 
Let's see what this one does. for it actually. Probably be alright with a smaller battery which you probably would use on this size motor. 45.2 degrees. Don't know, you might be alright. Not sure. <laughs> Alright, let's try another prop. Okay, I thought I'd give this one a try. This is a TGS or KMP, depending on where you get it from. Uh, 40, uh, no, 4.5, sorry, yeah, 4.5 by 4.5 sports prop. And it's on four cell. So, let's have a look out. <laughs> by 4.5, only 26 amps, 404 watts. That's pretty good. Yeah, just can't think of any other props to try that would um, not be too much for it. I um, don't think I've got anything else. Oh well. I think I've got some new props on order which might be better. I think they're five by four. Yeah, I think I've got some five by fours on order, so um, they might be uh, a bit more better. So anyway, I think I have to call it there for this one. I don't think I've got any other props to try. So um, anyway, uh, if you like this video, please give us a like and subscribe to see more. Um, I've been there. Uh, trying to improve the channel but <laughs> I'm still just on the same setup um, not very good with computers so I haven't been able to do anything fancy it's still just me here waffling on uh, but I'm still getting uh, a few more subscribers and I'm, I did say on a, a video a while ago if I get to 500 subscribers that I will do a prize so sort of a competition prize so if you want to be involved with that I'm, I'm nearly at 500 so if you want to be involved with that then you need to click that little subscribe button be a registered subscriber so I can actually see you on my sus subscription list and I uh, don't know what the actual competition will be um, I have to make up something so that uh, <laughs> you can uh, try and you know, uh, go go for that and give the right answer, and I'll pick the closest one, who's uh, closest right answer for whatever it is. I can I, I don't know what I'm going to do, um, but it, what you will win, it won't just be a packet of propellers. Uh, I will send you a box full of propellers because I've got hundreds. <laughs> so um, yeah, be a nice little competition prize. You'll get a nice little box of propellers there. Um, I'm not sure about international shipping yet. I'll have to um, have a look into that and see what it will cost to ship anything around the world. Uh, if it's too much then um, I will have to, it will just have to be a UK subscriber competition. But um, if it ain't too bad I will ship it to anywhere else in the world. But like I said I'll have to look into that. Um, I'm not too sure about the um, future of Motor Test of the Week. Um, I was going to monetize the channel so I can try and get a bit of re revenue, a bit of money um, to try and keep the channel, well, not the channel, but the Motor Test of the Week going. 
because obviously I can't keep <laughs> spending money on <laughs> motors all the time. Um, and it might, if I if I got a little bit of money, would help pay for it. Then that would have been good. But with this stupid new YouTube rules of um, you have to now have a thousand subscribers uh, to be able to get paid for adverts or anything or monetizing your channel and I'm and not even halfway there yet so uh, so I can't yeah it's going to be a bit annoying um, but like I said I will because I said I'll do it I still will do a competition prize at 500 subscribers for a box of propellers um, but if you keep subscribing and I do get up to a thousand subscribers there will be another competition prize and that will definitely go around the world and that could be a motor and a load of propellers to go with that motor so a bit more better prize so yeah keep watching if you want to be involved subscribe and you know I'll see how it goes but um, if not then not sure about the future of motor test of the week but we're we're I, I've still got quite a few motors to test so we'll keep plugging along I will try and get those tested when I can and if I do get other motors I will still test them still show them on the channel and hopefully get lots of flight videos as well so I've got still got so many models to build so you'll still have quite a lot of content on this um on this channel anyway Thanks for watching everyone, and I shall see you again next time on Motor Test of the Week. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.